Hey, what's up, cool cats and kittens? All right, so uh, today we're gonna be learning how to um, how to repair your KW1 leash, you guys. Yes, we all have that little problem where you just break the tip on it. You know, it's really common. They're really thin. Um, I ended up breaking my tip. So first thing we do is we take this off the leash. Okay, this there's like a little there's a little screw right there for the L tool. Okay, you go ahead and you take that out. So we take that little screw off, okay? Pardon me, I know I say okay a lot, you guys, but that's just making sure that you guys are with me, okay? Okay. So that comes off, you guys. Now be behind here is where they, um, they welded it on there. So what I did was I got my little Dremel. I put a little cutting stone on there. And I lightly started dremeling right here the sides. Okay, dremel right there, dremel right there. As you guys can see, those are the welding points that I had right here. So I dremeled those. So as you guys can see, I um, I slightly opened it. I, I stuck my little I stuck my little carving tools. These um, you can get them on eBay or maybe with a little flathead. But I was really careful. I stuck it in there and I banged it. Okay. I stuck my tool in there. You can stick a little flathead screwdriver in there. Just make sure that it's really sharp at the tip. And then I got. I got a little tool and while I hold it like this, don't put it on anything, don't put it on anything like this because you might bend the tip. So I was kind of just slightly tapping it, tapping it, tapping it, tapping it, tapping it, tapping it. And I noticed that this started to open up back here, as you guys can see. Started to open up back there. So after it opened up little by little, I was able to kind of like, as you guys can see, I was able to like turn it a little bit and ammo. The old one came off, okay? This is a new one, you guys. As you guys can see, okay? There's a little there's a little slot in here where this little ball has to go in, okay? This little thing. Okay, so as you kind of turn it, you kind of have to turn it a little bit, lift it up, okay? And it's going to go in there. Can't make the can't you have to put it in the right place. Bam, oh, there it is. As you guys can see. Okay, it's in the right place. It doesn't come out, doesn't go in. And like I said, you guys don't have to worry about this. You can probably weld it or so, but this thing right here, this thing right here is gonna hold it in place when you guys put it back on there, okay? And like I said, you guys don't have to worry about welding it back on there. See? Okay, this is actually gonna hold the thing in place for us. We're gonna go ahead and tighten this up with a little screw. And bam, it's, it's easy as one, two, three. You guys can send it in, I guess, to, to the leashy guy, the one that makes these, but you know, sometimes they don't wanna, they don't wanna fix them for you because they said that it was a misuse or whatever. So I just ended up not waiting for them and I just decided to, you know, just go ahead and just do it. You know, so that's a little trick to do it, you guys, like that. And go ahead and put a little screw in. And like I said, it should hold our plate, you know, it should prevent it from not coming out. So don't tighten it too much, you guys, because if you do, this thing's gonna get stuck. It's gonna be stuck, and you're not gonna be able to pull, pull it, pull it in and out, in and out. Okay, so don't tighten it too much. Just barely enough, or it's just holding it in place. Okay. You don't have to weld nothing back on there. And hold it in place for you. Isn't that beautiful? 
is beautiful, you guys. Just like new. I miss this tool, you guys. I miss this. This was a really cool tool to use, and it's really, really vital when you go to lockouts. I remember the night I broke this tool. It was, like, pretty upsetting, and they all break from the tip right there, you guys. They all break from the tip. I don't know why, but that's where they break from. As you guys can see, this is the old one. I thought that maybe I could push it out this way and just take that little thing off and just pull it out through this way, but I, I couldn't. I couldn't pull it out this way. It has to go out this way. Okay, so that's the easiest way to do it. It's not hard. It doesn't mess anything up. Everything is nice and perfect. I didn't ruin the leashy. As you guys can see, I just lightly, lightly kind of sanded the, the lines right here and, and just tap, put a little, put a little chisel on them and I slightly tapped it, tapped it till it opened up slowly, slowly. And I was able to just to turn it just a little bit so I can pull the old one out and put the new one in. Okay. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below. Okay, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel till next time. Okay, you guys. Uh, if you guys have any more questions, go ahead and email me. Um, L I L R O X X 001 yahoo.com. Okay, so that's just a way to fix your leash right there. Okay, till next time, you guys. All right, you guys, so I have right here a tool. It's a nice little tool. It's called under the door lever opener. Okay, you actually put this side under the door. Okay. As soon as it's under the door, you lift it up, you pull it back. You tilt it to, to wherever the side of the door is. And it catches a lever, and then you just pull the wire, okay? Check it out, you guys. It's a really handy tool. I recommend you guys buy it. Okay, it's really nice, you know, to have it as inventory just in case someone gets locked out of their office. You know, it's really easy. Less than 30 seconds to open it. I'll put the link in the description below, okay? By the way, you guys, these guys tried breaking inside my business, broke my cameras. As you guys can see, I'm just yanking it off. That's his lookout, buddy. This is one of them. Look like he's a skater. Wannabe. With a brown pink eye. Maybe he's got punched in the eye before. Weasel. This guy over here. This is a possum over here. He has a rat tail. Scars on the side of his head. Look at him. He really thinks he's going to break in there. If you guys are in the Los Angeles areas, please repost this. Let's make these days go viral. I bet you this guy smells. Look at him. There he is right there. Nasty. Chipmunk looking Pablo. Look at his haircut. What kind of haircut is that? Weasel face. 
possum, rat tail, rat tail possum boy. Screenshot this next picture, post it up on your social media. Beware, Los Angeles area. Let's make these guys go viral.